FizzWiz option C should be considered if you do not have an existing thermal well and you do not have your carbonation stones yet or maybe you have your carbonation stones and you're looking to upgrade them to maybe a longer or better uh, carbonation stone product. The main feature of FizzWiz option C is that it comes with a whiz stone combo and there are videos at brewwiz.com about this product so I'm not going to go into too much detail, detail other than to tell you it comes with a built-in thermal well so that the FizzWiz can accurately measure the temperature of the beer. So what are you going to need for option C? Well the first thing you're going to need is a full size inch and a half tri-clamp fitting to install the FizzWiz combo carbonation stone. There are some inch and a half tri-clamp fittings that look a little bit like this. It's somewhat reduced in size and if your if your tank has a tri-clamp fitting like that for the stone then then it's not going to work. It has to be a full size one like this. Full size hole. Uh, you will need a isolation valve on your CIP arm with a pressure uh, quick connect mail on it and that looks looks like this that fitting at the bottom of the arm looks like this so um, what do you get with FizzWiz option C well you get a wall war power supply so you should install uh, a power source locally to the FizzWiz or, or be prepared to run an extension cord and you need this to power the FizzWiz. Uh, you get the Whistone Combo and the Whistone Combo is going to be installed like this into the tank. of the Whizstone combo and it obviously plugs into the bottom of the first quiz. As with all kits you get the arm separator and the idea of this is that it has a sight glass at the bottom so if you get any foaming in the tank during the carbonation process or any condensation it drops into the sight glass. It has a little Swiffer valve at the bottom so you can empty it and if you do see uh, foam or beer in, in this sight glass it means you're carbonating too quickly and you should turn the flow rate down on the FizzWiz. So this connects to the bottom of the CIP arm you get 10 foot of hose um, to be connected between the arm and the bottom of the FizzWiz. It goes to the arm separator and the bottom of the FizzWiz. You get 10 foot of uh, stone hose with quick connect that connects to the top of the stone and this little pneumatic quarter inch pipe pushes into the bottom of the FizzWiz. All these hoses can be obviously tidied up and shortened, but we give you 10 foot so you can cut them down. Okay. That's it. Uh, that is option C. If you have any questions, give us a call. Contact us today to learn how you can better control your carbonation.